Hello, welcome back to Angels Anonymous 333. My name is Anna. Today I'm going to do a July Aquarius reading. And uh, thank you so much for being here. If you would be so kind uh, to like, comment, subscribe, share, all the all the above, that would be fabulous. Um, what else was I going to say? I've been sick for the past week, so... If my, if my voice sounds really deep and hoarse, that's why. Um, I was also on vacation, so that was fun. Good news is no COVID, though. So, alrighty. And uh, again, as Billy on the Street would say, and away we go. <laughs> I love him. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. Two at once. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so Eight of Wands in reverse next to the Ten of Wands in the upright. <laughs> um, so the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, you know, clearly no communication. Someone could be blocked. Um, next to the Ten of Wands, um, this could be like blocked and realizing that, you know, this is the end, end of a battle, uh, giving up. Um, uh, or just a blockage in general. Let's keep it going, shall we? Uh, breakup. Blockage breakup. Oh, we already know what it is. That's the, that's the title of the vid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so definitely breakup. Um, and this is in the past. So something happened. To cause a blockage um you know someone's feeling stressed out about it um defeated from this like a, the break of something um that was sturdy tower in reverse um <clears throat> uh again stagnation this could be um someone still needing to change still needing to uh, open up. This is still stagnant. Uh, sometimes I get it. It's like a worse version of the tower, but a lot of the times, uh, to me, it could just be like, this will happen if you don't make the right move kind of thing. So, okay, that's what it is. It's the stagnant energy is, is going to cause this to fall. So let's see. Ooh. Eight of Swords in reversed, uh, reversed. <laughs> oh man. Um, uh, coming out of, can you see all these? All right, coming out of self imprisonment. Uh, however, this is the after tarot, and there is a dude right next to her that's untying them. Um, again, could have been a union, but it, um, to me, it's more. Uh, self-imprisonment but again the guards are the cards uh but he's on he's doing it to her he's i was say, i was gonna say untying but he's releasing damn why i'm coming up with all the wrong analogies i said i was thinking releasing the chains like what does that even mean all right so anyways moving forward we'll do the justice what's going on with the justice Ooh, strength in reverse. Someone maybe didn't have the courage to do something. Um, unawakened. Could be a Leo. Libra. Sorry, this camera is shaking. Um, someone doesn't have the strength or confidence. Um, and maybe now they can't move on. Um... We have the both three and the four of wands in reverse. It's kind of looking to me that this person, who, by the way, doesn't have a suit, doesn't have a suit on, a fresh suit. No, I'm just kidding. Like cups, pentacles, doesn't have a suit <laughs> or a nice suit. Um... Uh, that sometimes can mean low level energy, not even being a page, not great, hon. Um, but again, there's no, there's no feminine here either. 
but there's the justice, the strength, and the tower. Um, there, there is the union card here, but it's in reverse. So, okay, someone probably blocked, uh, gave up, or, you know, someone either blocked them, stopped talking to them, uh, they're, you know, just a stagnant in communication, probably, um, that led to this, um, it's in like more of the current energy now that the tower is in the reverse so this is something that still need like the tower will fall um however right next to it you have eight of swords in reverse plus the justice so um this had to happen to um come out of that mental prison i should say and that's also the justice too um, however, now this person, it seems, uh, doesn't have the strength, the confidence, um, I was going to say to come forward, then I was like, where do I see that? But then the three of wands in reverse, someone that they can't move on. So if someone can't move on, what are they going to do? They're going to think about coming forward. So let's see what's going on. Also, my... My kitty's here. She may be making noise. She stole my seat, so I'm sitting on a stool and she's still coming up. The moon. Something, did I say something's coming out? Did I? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, but that's like uh, something being illuminated next to the justice card though too. Like, it's like kind of like thick, deep energy. I don't know, it's like, Justice, okay, something that's done in the dark coming to light is kind of what I'm getting, okay? Let's see. But maybe someone, after all this, doesn't have the strength to come forward. They can't move on. Or they know that in order to move forward, they have to reveal something. Let's check it out. Okay, Aquarius, what's going on? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, can't move on that they want this. Happy home, happy life, happy wife. And uh, that beautiful Dewig. <laughs> uh, the Seven of Pentacles, uh, you know, putting work into something. This is the after tarot, so having the ability to harvest the crops. However, sometimes I get this kind of sneaky, creepy vibe. Like, all right, well, listen, I only need one of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one. I'm going to pop away, and uh, I'll come back when I want. That's, like, sometimes the vibe I get from that, so let's clarify. But it's the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so again, how I said I didn't, I don't see a suit. This is, like, to me, this is, like, this person, and then, like, this is, okay, masculine, feminine energies, you know? Could be vice versa. I always forget to say that. There's a general reading. It's not going to, you know, resonate with everyone. Um, <laughs> but those are the two energies I kind of like feel are coming through. Honestly, in a way that's this guy's like, I'm just gonna harvest what's in the field. And you know, the queen's like, listen, I got a palace, I got a bunny over here, I got this super spherical shiny one where I can see my face in it. So she doesn't really need it. So let's do overall and then we'll go into the spread. Temperance in reverse. Um, okay, clearly not balanced. Um, not, not healing. So, and what, one of the things that Someone said, I heard this, I don't know, in the past week, uh, and I never really thought of it this way, but like transmutation, so transmuting energy, and the, this is healing, that's what healing is, so healing things, like what some things healing, some healing things I do, yoga, uh, art, and that transmutes energy, and you get something positive out of it. Um, in the reverse is not being able to do that, stuck in the vibe, being stuck, not stable. So let's see, it could be the connection, um, which is very well so, or it could be uh, another person who doesn't have the strength here, who cannot move on, but it looks like justice. Oh, okay, yeah, oh my God, again, look at not resting, not healing, not maybe putting something to rest. 
maybe someone has to deal with the fact that this is this has been put to rest and um, let's see yeah dude holding on to this like holding on to dear life like all of those little coins and again no suit no fresh suit um so yeah this this is more of like it could be the connection that needs to be healed or you know maybe both people are holding on to it uh but to me like again i keep coming back to these two energies and they just don't really seem to be in alignment and i got the chariot reversed on the bottom of the deck um so you know something not coming in uh, delays, stagnation, bibbidi bobbidi boo. All right, so now <laughs> um, I usually do the, their energy, your energy, and then we'll do some oracles. And I got um, a deck, it's not new, but new to here. All right, their energy. Okay, wow. Okay, <laughs> Queen of Cups and uh, Ten of Swords in Reverse, um, wanting to revive something with the Queen of Cups, or it could be the Queen of Cups wanting to revive something, but this is, remember, this is their energy, so I don't necessarily see them as the Queen of Cups, I see them wanting to revive something with the Queen of Cups. And again, that's an extremely intuitive, caring lady. Yeah, wanting to put the fighting down. Don't they don't want any more conflict? Oh, that's that's great, you know. Me too, but what happened to get there, you know? All right, so let's do overall and then we'll move on to yours. Whoop! Damn! The cards don't lie. We have the world and the six of pentacles. Yeah. Uh, wanting to give someone the world, wanting to give that equal give and take. Um, but let me clarify this one more time. because Sometimes this is a card of breadcrumbing. Okay, uh, just be careful or not if this is stable. Because um, someone may be giving something, offering something to you, but, uh, you know, is it going to last? We'll see. All right, now yours. King of Wands. Either you could be in this energy, because again, masculine, feminine, whatever, or they could be, but very fiery, passionate. It's in the upright, uh, go getter. Um, I will say it's the least favorite of my, the least favorite king of mine. Chariot in reverse is coming out again. Interesting. All right, next card. Huh. All right, hold up. We'll clarify that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so interestingly enough, it's like picking more up on. Yo, this is so weird because it's like almost vice versa. But hey, listen, could go either way again and again. Like this is more your energy. This is more their energy, which is weird. Like thinking and mirroring. Uh, the other person thinking about what they want to do in the in the situation. Um, so this person wants to revive it. We don't know if it's going to be cool or not. So we'll we'll look on that. Um, and then King of Wands, Chariot in Reverse. Uh, this is someone very passionate, but there's a delay. So you want to be careful with someone like very passionate with delays because that's inconsistency, and inconsistency is uh, not great to say the least. Uh, and then right next to it, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So coming out of um, like an abandonment, either mindset or coming out of something that had caused that uh, with the Judgment card. I uh, love the Judgment card. So this is, you know, um, support. The, what I have is this person could have, this seems like maybe a pattern. Um, that the King of Wands had. I'm sorry. Also, if you hear trains, I live near a train track, and sometimes I really can't tell how loud it is comparatively. But anyways, um, so this may have been a pattern as to someone coming in hot 
and then leaning back and then abandoning the situation but it looks like judgment's coming calling judgment you know we're calling it's like final call you know what i mean like you can't once the final call's there like no going back you know we're capped you know whatever it is it's the final call so they're coming out, you're coming out of this, or they're coming out of this, and it's the final call. So the last one. Or there may not be a revival of it. Um, let's see. Maybe manifesting. I know, I know this is new love, but this is like also could be rejuvenation of love. So like, um, like don't they don't want to you don't want to revive this and uh manifest someone new which totally understandable this person doesn't want to do that there's um still thinking about y'all uh but uh stability may not be may not be in the cats all right so now um oh my god that train i have the dark mirror cards which I haven't used them here before, but I think they're pretty interesting. And I'm honestly, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna do a spread or whatever. I'm just gonna pop, pop them on and see what, what's going on. All right. These are like really tiny too. Hey, I hope uh, people here appreciate the nail game as well. Um, check it out. This kind of reminds me, uh, if I have any 90s babies out there, uh, Xenon, Zetus Lapidus, Protozoa. <laughs> Great movie, one of my faves. All right. <laughs> if you can't tell, I do have ADD. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. <laughs> okay. So, I have forgetting oneself in the reverse. So, either you or this person or, or your person um, could have forgotten themselves in the past and, you know, or now stepping into their power. Um, but that's, yeah, that's great, though. Let's see. Gilded regret. Gilded regret. So, okay, this could go either way. This could be, let's just say if it's you, um, you know, sort of losing yourself in that connection. And a lot of the, a lot of the times we all do, you know, rose colored glasses, all that. Um, and then, you know, coming out of that and either having regret about the situations and, you know, choices that you made during that or it could be the other person um or it could be both you know mirroring energy let's see what's going on yeah. there we go okay revenge in reverse that's great okay um I was gonna say, uh, I guess we have, don't have any karmics going on around here then, uh, which is good. Yeah, I didn't even get any of that energy in this reading. Um, sort of just, I guess, acceptance with the situation. Like, not no one's trying to like jab at anyone. Like everyone's, I guess, no, I wouldn't even say level-headed, but just like, I think you can't be bothered with it. Like maybe this person like, you know, want you to do something and get revenge, but you're just like above that. And like, this person regrets it and like, maybe thinks that you want revenge, but I don't think that's the case. Or vice versa, you know how it would be. All right, this like kind of is sideways. Huh. Okay, so this says, I won't cry for you. Creepy. It's like a little tiny vial of blood or something. What is she, like Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly? Am I right? What do they do? They're, whatever. You know, do that, I guess. 
Uh, but anyways, so um, it, it landed like this towards the side, which means like, again, like it's like sort of wavering. So it's like, and again, like I said, mirroring, it could be both people mirroring each other. So I won't cry for you. Like, I think it has happened on either side. It's not strong either way. Um, but there's, it's like a struggle with it is kind of what I get. You know, both are emotional. All right. Two. Well, just one, please. Please, just one. Almost, please. Thank you. Peaceful among thorns. Yeah, so someone that's, like, when I get this, like, someone who's used to um, either abuse, abuse, oh, my God, used to, um, any kind of toxic family dynamic, toxic, to oh my god, I wonder, I can't talk, toxic um, uh, attachment style, and that's a whole thing, I love psych, I have a degree in psych, so pretty much everything stems from that, not everything, but um, anyways, could have had a really hard upbringing, and you know, this stuff doesn't really bother them, like it doesn't you know, I don't get it. And maybe the same thing with you too. Maybe you've been through a lot and you're just sort of like, you know, <clears throat> H-E double, oh my God, wrong one. Uh, sugar, honey, iced tea doesn't bother you. Damn. I, I, I'm a nanny too. And I always say to the kids when I like have brain farts like that, I'm like, hey, can you guys like turn my brain on for me? Cause it's off right now. All right, and then I have obsession in the reverse, which is good. Like, um, that's that's what I feel like, again, for you too. Maybe not for the other person, but um, like, it's under the revenge. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. You, you're not obsessed with it, and maybe that's, or with them, and that's what's bothering them, and they're guilted in regret, and they forgot who they were, and maybe, or maybe, or, you know, maybe lying to themselves, that's what it is about you know, crying over you and remembering you, uh, but they're used to this kind of thing. All right, last card, and then we're gonna get you out of here. Get out of here. Blech. All right, I have two. Okay, I have Fated to suffer, and I have triumph of lies in the reverse. So what I'm getting from this is fated to suffer. So like, you know, Snow White vibes here. Um, this could also like again, as I'm saying, growing up in abuse. They could have grown up in a really hard household, or either that, or you know, had something happens to them as a child or, you know, whatever the case may be, um, kind of, they feel like it has set them up to fail. So whether that's family issues, financial issues in the family, whatever it may be, um, they think they were set up to suffer. Um, triumph of lies in the reverse. Um, let me, let me ponder that one for a second because I think they were maybe hiding, okay. All right, here's what I get. See, here it's like a quote unquote king, but he nothing but bones. Like in the reverse, I mean, I still kind of get that. Um, but what I'm thinking with that is they're, they think they're fated to suffer. Um, so they sort of, feel like it's justifiable even if it's not lies even if it's like white lies or you know what i'm getting like omission of the truth like you know so bending not exactly but like bending the rules ever so slightly and um but you know they're stuck in their own head they're peaceful among that they're used to it um you know so they kind of justify it that way all right what i'm gonna do is because there's a lot of time already um just 
pull a few love cards, see what goes on, then we'll get you out of here. Also, it's thunderstorming here, so you probably hear that. All right, let's see. Also, yeah, let me know, let me know where you guys are from. I'd love to know over here on the East Coast. I want to hear where everyone's from. U.S., around the world, let me know. All right, here we go. Let's see what comes out. Okay, well, that's in reverse. Uh, so, it was self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So, <clears throat> someone's in need of self-care. Um, just slow down is kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> you know what? Alright. Now I'm confused because this is completely conflicting energy. Uh, <laughs> wait in the reverse. So don't wait, as even though I said slow down. The timing is not quite right. So the the timing is right to heal yourself. The timing, it, timing is now. You know what I, like, okay, so this is like what I'm thinking of too. Like, the timing is now to heal yourself. The timing is now, it's now, um, is kind of what I'm getting. That's what I'm going to name the video, okay? Um, and how I think about this too is I had this you know, I'm new, I'm new to the channel and I'm trying to grow it. And I had some reservations, but I'm like, you know what? The time is now. And, um, <laughs> one weird thing that I thought of, uh, when I thought of that was if anyone here has, uh, seen Finding Nemo, when the turtles jump into the little, uh, quick thing in the, in the sea, I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean? Uh, but they go flying on in and you know they gotta jump all they can they don't want to miss it so that's kind of what i'm feeling too so now's the time to heal now's the time to do it um warning in reverse don't dismiss the red flags here so this is you know don't be afraid to do this like now is the time to heal now's the time to fix those things move forward and you know jump into that whatever thing you call it all right, y'all, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I, it would mean the world and the universe to me. If you liked, comment, share, subscribe, share to your friends, whatever. Um, also, if you like comedy and cats and kittens, I would highly suggest you check out my kitten at Real Hot Girl Honey on Instagram. Uh, she's really popping off, so I think you'd like it. All right, y'all, see you later.